We do get the heavier rainfall out of here early tomorrow morning, which means that the majority of the weekend looks dry and warmer. Not so much today. It's going to be a rainy and cool day. Our city cam in the 50s right now under those gray and damp conditions. It's 57 in Taunton as well as in Providence. We've got the temperatures in the upper 50s, Newport and New Bedford, and we are uh, tracking that rainfall that's up and down the east coast here this morning from uh, Andrea. Andrea now over inland South Carolina right now. The heavy rainfall north of that all the way up into DC heading into New Jersey this morning. That heavy rain is going to fill in here as we head into the afternoon. So the latest uh, track from the National Hurricane Center brings us very close to if not over southeastern New England early tomorrow morning, say between five and six o'clock in the morning, making its closest pass on this track. And this is a little closer to us from what it was yesterday evening. It means that we're still in that area of heavy rain. Some gusty coastal winds. The winds are not a major concern with this storm. We are under a wind advisory just for Nantucket. Flood watch is the bigger issue. Starts at noon today and goes through Saturday morning. We're watching for street and poor drainage flooding. I think that'll be a concern for the evening commute. And we've got rivers and streams that will likely see rapid rises in their water levels as that heavier rain starts to move in. So soaking rainfall. We've got the flood watch and those gusty coastal winds. The major impacts here from Andrea. We've got temperatures mid to up. 50s and only going to slowly climb to 60 here as we wrap up the morning commute by the evening hours downpours and that's going to again lead to the ponding on the roadways. It's your typically flood prone spots that are going to have an issue for that trip home from work about 60 to 65 for your temperatures. Future cast shows that steadier and heavier rain filling in two o'clock in the afternoon. It's a rainy and unsettled cool afternoon and that rain heavy at times, even some embedded thunderstorms through the evening and the nighttime hours. This is at 11 o'clock at night and we'll continue with the wet weather through the nighttime. But I do want to show you here 630 tomorrow morning. Still some showers around, but they quickly move out of the area and we get back to drier skies and partial sunshine. Saturday late morning afternoon looking pretty good. In fact, with the help of some sun, I have our temperatures at about 75 to 80 for Saturday afternoon. Here's the rainfall future cast. We've got those temperatures. Uh, or rainfall totals again, probably topping two inches in most areas. It's going to be where the exact track of the storm ends up. So our computer model here, this one brings it a little bit closer to us. So the heavy rain shifted a little bit further north and west, where the worst of it may end up over western New England. If the storm track stays more towards where the National Hurricane Center is, then we're going to end up in that two to three inch rainfall total here with some isolated four inch amounts possible. Seven day future cast for you. So to sort of sum it all up, we are looking at again two to as much as four inches of rain, coastal gusts 45 miles an hour along the south coast, and that would be between midnight and 5 a.m even higher gusts possible along the um, islands and outer Cape, and we're going to be watching for localized flooding. Tomorrow's high, upper 70s. It is definitely not a washout. Most of the rain ends by 9 a.m. Partial sun returning, looking pretty good. You're going to watch for uh, some rip currents along our beach at waters this weekend, but partly sunny Sunday if you're headed to the beach at 80 inland and 70s at the coastline. You can get that updated future cast from Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca starting tonight live at 5 over on WPR.